just kind of diving into the good son, let's talk about the characters. Um, you know, we got Zoe, we've got her brother, Ricky, um, you know, his friend, Darius. Where did those ideas come from? Was it people that you had met or uh, come across when in your childhood, like just the, the type of characteristics of these people? Or was it just like a, an idea that you were just, you know, it was developing over years? I think bits and pieces of the characters were pulled from people I knew growing up. Okay. But the actual characters themselves are invented and they changed a lot over the course of writing the novel. So Zoe actually started out as Joey and was uh, it was a story about two brothers. And it was much later draft that it became a brother and sister dynamic. So I had to reinvent Zoe completely because the character that was Joey didn't make sense. Um, it, the whole story didn't work with that. She needed a whole new personality. So I reinvented Zoe kind of later in the process, which was interesting, and then had to rework the whole novel to, to now fit a new dynamic between brother and sister. So bits and pieces were pulled from maybe growing up and people I knew, but ultimately most of it was just making it up as I went and yeah. creating them. And location of the story, was that something that, is it just because of, you know, where you were living at the time or where we're at, like, just kind of maybe go, go through that and how you, you picked out those locations? The location is definitely um, based on where I grew up, not in Calgary. So this is kind of a mix. Yeah. When I wrote the scenes on her street where she grew up and where her neighbor goes missing, I was picturing the street I grew up in on Calgary in my head okay. and all the descriptions of the ravine at the end of it. That's all true from where I grew up. Yeah. But I said it in small town, Ontario, which is where I lived from the age of 12 on. So I had my formative years in Dunville, Ontario, and I certainly modeled Dunford <laughs> after Dunville. Um, it. But it's not Dunville. It's a mix of every small community I've lived in since and communities I've visited. So I pulled aspects of the small towns and the surrounding small towns just from the geography of where I grew up. Yeah. Not grew up in my early years, sorry, grew up from 12 on. That's, that's amazing. Um, you know what, I think for the, for the viewers, it would be great to hear a summary of the story from you, not giving too much away because I really want people uh, to take the opportunity and purchase your book because I can't tell you how much I loved it. Um, so I think it'd be great from you as the author to kind of give a little bit of a summary of, of really the, the just the gist of the, of the novel. Sure. In a broader sense, it's a character-driven family drama um, with a hint of mystery mm -hmm. that deals with um, family loyalty and secrets, how our perceptions of the past influence our choices and ultimately the people we become. On a more specific scale, it's about a brother and sister and their relationship and something that happens when the main character Zoe is a young girl that changes how she interacts with her world as she grows up. And so the novel starts with her as an adult and then we get to see how her past is now impacting her present and how all of the life choices she's made leading up into that moment can almost be traced back to this one moment in her childhood. 